The Wabash Valley Museum hosted films from around the world today. This new festival comes out of our News 10 Bureau. Our Bureau Chief Gary Bryan explains how this event looks to carry on the legacy of a local legend. Red Skelton started his life here in Vincennes, and a film fest on Saturday hopes to carry on his legend. Folks arrived early Saturday to the Red Skelton Performing Arts Center. They're here to see films like Present Tense by filmmaker Whit Spurgeon. I grew up in Muncie. Uh, Indiana and so when I heard about this festival I thought it would be fun to submit and see if I could come back to Indiana and I got in so I get to be here. Spurgeon's film is one of 31 films being showed as part of the Laugh Venn Festival. The festival showcases films in the same genre as the late Red Skelton. As curator of the muse museum I get quite uh, people commenting saying they don't make comedy like Red Skelton anymore. Well, I like to show that young filmmakers are still do making comedy like him. Of the 31 films, six of those were made right here in the state of Indiana. An additional six were submitted from outside of the United States. Someone from Germany uh, knows about Indiana and knows about even Vincennes. I, mean, that's, 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 I, I think that's fun. All following in the footsteps of the Wabash Valley native. Get it to a new audience. Uh, you know, just the, the main idea is to expose Red Skelton's type of comedy and uh, show that still uh, going on to this generation today. Giving Spurgeon a chance to leave California and come back home. I started directing short films about seven years ago and uh, I do one or two a year and it's great to be able to travel around the country with your films and do stuff like that and it's even more fun to come home, you know, it's nice to come out and visit well, Indiana again, I miss it. This is the first year for the Laugh Venn Film Festival. Krasner says he hopes to continue the festival next year. Back to you.